what it was. Thank you for having me. I, I, I know we were joking last week and I wish this was live already because I would love to leave St. Louis where we're covered in snow and it's cold and gross and I'd love to come to, to Oregon. That's for that's for sure. But maybe one of these days. Well, possibly summer when it's beautiful here. Hey, I'm, I'm ready for some more hikes. I'm ready. Yay. I'm ready. No, thank you for having me. And am I good to share screens and, yes, you go are. Ahead and kind of get rolling? All right, cool. Let's see here. Let's make sure. Now, I just have a, I just got a new monitor here, so bear with me. Um, let's see. All right, can uh, are, are you good. seeing my full it's screen? Good. It's looking good. Yes. All right, perfect. All right, so again, uh, Kevin Carroll with RI Black Book. Uh, I'm going to go over. I know there was a marketing theme, so uh, I'll, I'll tell you about who we are, why I'm here, even talking to you today, but. Uh, some of you who are brand new, you're probably thinking, cool, uh, I want to do this. It's a great way to invest uh, money, time. Real estate is, you know, it's for centuries has, has made more millionaires than, than anything else. Um, but there's definitely a process and, and a, a basically a systematic way to go about this. So um, I'm going to show you three simple steps and it, they truly do sound super simple and the concepts are really easy, but there's by far the biggest reasons where we see investors fail. And, and frankly, not just investors, business owners fail, whether it's real estate or nails or whatever. But, and the, the kicker here is without a bunch of extra marketing, without hiring a bunch of extra team members, the key is how can we 3X your deals, your revenue without making major other investments. All right, so I'll jump through this. All right, so again, I'm gonna focus on three specific strategies that are proven to triple your business uh, without hiring and spending more money. I'll share a couple of real world stories of other investors and, and why we've developed these systems the way we have. And at the end, just so you know, I am going to actually, I've got a bunch of giveaway stuff. I, and Grace, actually, I've decided to throw in a couple more things, but I've got a marketing guide, um, scripts and templates for follow-ups, emails and text messages and, and all of the things that you can literally copy and paste and put into your existing real estate business um, to start closing more deals on the leads that you already have. All right. So uh, for those of you who don't know who Aria Black Book is, we've been around for uh, almost 13 years now. We were founded back in 2009. Uh, for those of you who have been investing long enough, that was a really bad time to start a business focused in real estate. But uh, we did it anyway, and we're still here, which is awesome. But we are the software of choice for a lot of the big education companies. Uh, you know, the Robert, C Robert Kiyosaki's of the world, they've any of their students that have ever came through and went through some of their education programs, they've included REI Black Book and made that a requirement as part of their education to help systematize and bring processes and consistency to what they are teaching. Over that time, we've worked with over 40,000 investors. Um, you know, a lot of them are new investors that are looking to fast track and get up to speed, build their businesses, get out of the grind. Um, and, and a lot of times we have experienced investors, people who've been doing this for years and years and years that are in chaos, stuff's falling through the cracks. And how can we streamline and, and bring a little bit of consistency into our, our business? But and our, our core value is our, our mission is to empower people through systems, software and education. All right. So, again, I mentioned for new investors, even if you've never done a deal, never even sent out a marketing campaign. Uh, you're actually somewhat at an advantage here because you don't have bad habits and broken systems to try to repair, but solo operators. So, you know, those of us who don't have big teams yet, maybe we're just doing this investing thing on our own all the way up to the seasoned people, uh, seasoned investors. They've, they've got teams in place. They're already doing deals and we just need to make some small tweaks to what you already have in place. And we can really drive some additional uh, results for you. All right. So, this here, uh, again, we're a software company. We're just kind of tools that, that are used by investors. But what we've done is try to create systems for each step of your customer's journey. So, you know, as investors, these are pretty much the six different boxes that, that all of our deals are going to run through, right? We've got to generate leads. We've got to manage those leads um, and structure deals, run our numbers. How do we make our offers and negotiate the actual transactions? All right, they say, yes, we've got an accepted contract. What's the process for that? 
all the way through to the fun part, which is disposition, right? Whether we're renting or selling, that's how we make our money. So what we've done and uh, this here, this lead generation aspect, I know marketing is a big thing and I, I think you've got a, an event next week for that, but we've actually come out with an entire book. This is a 99 page book that I'm gonna give to everybody here. Uh, we've got an electronic copy that I'll send to everyone at the end of the call today, but it will go through all kinds of different uh, lead generation marketing strategies, whether it's direct mail or driving for dollars, all kinds of different ways to find and generate those motivated seller leads to find those off-market properties. All right, we've generated the leads. So how do we capture them, right? It's through websites and, and phone system. We've got, like, we're a CRM at heart and I'll show you more of what we do later, but how do we analyze what marketing is working, make sure that all of our leads don't fall out of our bucket? How do we follow up with them, et cetera? And then again, most of our deals aren't ready right now. How do we follow up? This is a major, major area of improvement for the vast majority of, of, of investors. All right, we followed up with them. How do we structure our deals? How do we make our offers? We've got systems for even when they say no to our offer. How do we turn those no's into yeses? All the way through to transaction management, and again, we've got an entire disposition system that I'll show you uh, what that looks like here. So again, that motivated seller guide on the left, I am going to give a, a that out to everybody today. I'll, I'll let you text in here in a second. Me, all right, who am I? I've been doing marketing and sales for over 15 years. That's all I've ever done. Um, I, I'm proud to report that I actually still hold the record as far as I know for selling the most chocolate candy bars uh, in elementary school. So I've always loved marketing and sales. I was chased out of Walmart's parking lot for selling candy bars. Um, I hit the same neighbors over and over. I, I've always just naturally loved marketing and sales and the science behind it. And how can we systematize and bring consistency to sales? All right. I've worked with, uh, before being with RI Black Book for the last four years, I actually ran a very large sales team uh, for a publicly traded company all over the Western half of the U.S. So, you know, again, it's, it's when you're a publicly traded company, they want revenue and sales every month. And I was there to basically implement systems and processes to make sure that as we're marketing, how can we get results month in, month out so we can eat all the time. So now I'm helping investors. And again, uh, 10 plus years in commission-based income. I have two small kids myself. I very much understand the importance of having systems in place to have deals every month versus the ups and downs that a lot of us experience where we'll get a big paycheck now is lean for a few months and so on uh, again and married 15 years. So I know there's another 15 year there earlier on the call. So, all right, let's dig into it. So the big three, those three areas that I mentioned earlier where most investors are, are struggling and failing, the most common issues that we've seen, again, we've, we've worked with over 40,000 for over a decade. We've provided the software. So we've got all the analytics of, of who's successful, who's not. We can kind of dissect what the successful investors are doing. And the ones who aren't very successful and struggling, where are those gaps at? And so, so what I'm going to share with you is what we've learned over that time. Number one, it's lead capture and qualification. So we already send out our marketing. They respond back, whether they're calling or going to a website, but whatever the case is, is you know, a lot of us are putting sticky notes or, or trying to run this in spreadsheets and you can get away with that for a while, but things fall through the cracks. If, if, if we play phone tag or we're using our cell phone, we don't have call tracking, all those different things. I'll dig into how we can systematically capture, qualify quickly who's ready for an offer right now and who's ready later. And then we move on. All right. Consistent follow-up. Uh, I've got some numbers that I'll share with you later as far as why we need to follow up. Uh, it will blow your mind how many deals we leave on the table because we give up way too early and move on to other things. And then ultimately, how do we sell our properties faster for more money with less effort? Um, a lot of us just, especially for wholesaling, we take our $5,000 assignment fee and that's all we like, mess. It, it, there, there's a much better way to disco our properties to maximize our revenue. All right. So first you've got to generate leads, right? So I know next, uh, your next call, you're going to kind of focus on marketing here, but um, the marketing landscape is changing, just so you know. Um, I can't see anybody's pictures the way the screen set up here, but um, I'd be really curious to, to know how many of us are doing text blasting and cold calling to generate leads. Um, and, and the reason I ask that is 
there are a bunch of new rules and regulations about texting and cold calling um, where fines have drastically increased. Uh, the tracking systems are in place. They have four years to come after us now. And a lot of our messages are downright getting blocked. So the, there, there's a different way to market these days. Those of us running pay-per-click ads and Facebook ads like that to, to, to find those off-market deals, those have all changed dramatically in the last year. So marketing in itself has drastically changed and those changes are going to continue. So that guide uh, that I'm going to give you here in a little bit, kind of digs through some other ways to find those motivated sellers. All right. Um, again, here's that guide. So those of you who want it, again, this is a book. It's, it's all about how to create your marketing campaigns for, for the new people here who haven't done a deal yet or haven't pressed go on a marketing system. You're probably worried to say, hey, can I keep up with the calls? You know, there, there's, a, there's a process. So what we've done is kind of created a checklist of here's what the campaign is. Here's what it entails. Here's what the typical cost is. And here are the systems and the way that you need to handle this as you start this particular campaign. So we, we uh, again, it's 99 pages. It drills deep into each one of those strategies. Um, again, what's the best channels that fit your business and how to pick a niche and find the right list to target and bring a system, like systematically approach that. So how can you make sure that there's no gaps? Um, you know, if, if we're doing direct mail, what's the proper timing and sequences, so on and so forth. All right. So normal is 199. I'm going to let you text in. I'm going to give a free copy to everybody on here. So if you would like a free copy of that digital guide to generating motivated sellers, you can just text O R R E A. So Oregon R E A O R R E I A to 850-900-3366. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the chat super fast. So that way, if I move on, I don't feel bad. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to dig in. So the first se section that I talked about earlier was capturing and qualifying leads. This sounds super duper simple. And your people probably think, oh, come on. What's this guy talking about? Right. But we see it over and over and over again. This is the start of your relationship with that motivated seller, with that particular lead. And if we don't systematically solve this, the rest of our sales process is probably not going to happen the way we need it to happen. All right. So what do I mean by capture and qualify leads? When somebody comes to a website or calls in or texts in, uh, how, are we capturing that all the time? What happens if somebody picks up the phone and calls and we miss it, right? Do we play phone tag? If they come to one of our websites, do we sit there? Does it take us two days to get back to them? How do we get notified? You know, what, what's, what's the system there? The takeaway is, and I've got some, some numbers that I'll share with this, but the first 15 minutes of that, of, from the time that they either pick up the phone or go to a website or opt in, whatever the case is, that first 15 minutes is absolutely critical. You must have a system that captures them and qualifies them every time as absolutely quickly as possible. I mean, 15 minutes is a stretch and I'll show you what I mean here in a second, but no matter what, whether they call, go to a, a landing page, a website, whatever the case is, make sure that no matter what, they get saved into your database, whether it's spreadsheets or whatever it is to manage it. Ours would be our, our contact management system, the, the CRM, but never let those leads go through. Don't have sticky note chaos, stuff will fall through the cracks you have to capture each and every one of them every time. This is from Forbes magazine. I pulled this out of here about a year ago. Uh, so when I say like 15 minutes, you're thinking, wow, that's not very much time, right? And think about the world that we live in. We're all consumers here. But when we hop on Google and contact somebody for anything, right? If we call the first person and they don't answer, we leave a message. How long do we usually sit around and wait and hope that somebody calls us back? Not very long. Uh, most of us give up after about five to 10 minutes and we're going to hop right on Google and find somebody else. Or if we have two postcards, we're going to call the next person, right? But this shows every five minutes that goes by from the initial response by that lead to our marketing, to the initial contact point, every five minutes that goes by, the chances of us ever having a conversation and that lead engaging with us drops exponentially. So again, you're a hundred times more likely to qualify a lead and, and engage with them if you contact them in the first five minutes compared to 30 minutes later. 
So, I mean, just think about that. So especially if we're solo operators, if we have nine to five jobs, we don't have somebody answering phones and, and responding those leads right away. What system do you have in place that will capture them each every time, respond to them in some way, shape or form so that they know not to find somebody else and, and to let them know that, hey, I'm on this and I'll, I'll be in contact, even if you're unable to, to answer that phone call. But super important, um, can't, can't stress it enough. And part of the issue is, especially those of us who have been around longer, we know that we've got all kinds of different strategies, right? Some of us might be running Google ads, sending direct mail postcards, billboards, radio, bandit signs. It doesn't really matter what strategy, but a lot of us are driving this right to our personal cell phones or to one business line. And we don't know what, what marketing campaign they're responding to. If we're doing probate as well as, you know, absentee owners, we're treating everybody the same and just hoping that, that it all works out. Well, in reality, that's like real estate is a marketing business. So we have to really get dialed in with what marketing channels are working. Where's my best leads coming from? If I'm spending $500 a month on direct mail, and $500 a month on radio ads, well, which one am I getting deals from? And we need to be able to track that and know which one's working and do more of that, right? So uh, this is my leaky bucket, but a lot of us have sales processes that look like this. No matter how many leads we pour in the top, if we've got holes where we're not capturing all of them and able to qualify those leads quickly, are they not ready yet? And how do we follow up with them? Those leads that we've spent spent a lot of time and money on, they just drip out of the bucket. And here we are just, you know, chasing our tail and, and watching our revenue just dwindle and, and spend money in the process. So what we call uh, the perfect follow-up system. And on the left-hand side, you'll see this is where we're at. This is basically when the leads first contact us, what happens? And again, I'm not going to focus on the different marketing strategies. I'll give everybody that motivated seller guide, but whether they call in or go to a website, it doesn't matter. Our system will automatically put it into RAI Blackbook's contact database. It tags them. We know what marketing campaign they responded to. Um, and we're able to track and see basically where they're at, if they're ready now, ready later. And we can press a button to disposition that lead. And, and we can spend our time focusing on the leads that are ready right now versus, you know, playing phone tag back and forth and hoping we remember to follow up in time. All right. So, again, we got to quickly qualify them. So what happens when we get them on the phone, right? What happens next? All right. On average, and I'm going to dig into these numbers a little bit more, but on average, when we have a marketing campaign out there, roughly 2% of all of our leads are actually ready right now for an offer ready to sell their property. 98% require follow-up. They're not ready yet. It might be two months from now. It might be a year and a half from now, but they're not ready yet. They're just you know, reaching out, they know they have a property. Eventually there's going to be some sort of a need there, but 98% of the time we need to have a system to capture them, follow up and set the next steps to maximize our marketing dollars and ready. So just to kind of put a visual to it, right? Is, ready, is the seller ready to sell? All right. 2%. Yep. 98% of the time. No. So we just need to put them into our follow-up campaign, our follow-up systems and process. All right. And after we do that, about 20% of them will kick back through. Um, when leads come through, about half of them will actually sell their property in the next two years. So when you kind of think about that, we're always chasing the ones that are hot and ready right now, which makes sense. We want those paychecks. We want to talk to the people who are truly motivated and need, it, need to sell their property now. But if we had 100 leads and only two of them are ready now, well, cool, we're going to work on them. But those other 98, there's probably 40 or 50 deals in there over the next couple of years, but we've got to have a way to stay engaged, nurture them, follow up with them. That way, when the timing is right for them, they respond back to us. And now we still just spend our time with the people who are truly motivated, ready to do business today. All right. So let's dig in a little bit more. So again, 98% will require follow-up. 2% of prospects actually say yes on the first call. When trust is built is when they're actually going to engage and, and, and be ready to take an offer, give you details and truly have that conversation. So to put it in perspective from a time standpoint, 58% of all of our leads will engage, meaning we can qualify them. They'll be ready to actually talk about the property, what they have going on, et cetera. About 58% is within six months. 
All right. Almost 20% will take six to 12 months before they ever truly engage and have that conversation. And almost a quarter of them, so almost one out of every four, is going to require 12 months or more of follow up. All right. So the takeaway is 42% of all of our leads, all of our deals eventually are going to come and they're not going to even be ready to talk until six months or more down the road. So as we look at marketing campaigns and all the things that we're doing to generate leads, understanding that the ones that aren't ready yet are still good leads. We just have to keep them in our bucket and not let them drip out during the process. So how do we keep them engaged during that time? All right. And I like to remind everybody this, they're going to engage when they're ready, not when we need a paycheck. So uh, a lot of people are like, well, I need a deal. I need a deal. But that's not going to help you. I promise. All right. Cool. So uh, I'll tell a quick story. I won't spend a lot of time on Marcy. I'm already behind here because I like to chat, but um, Marcy actually went through a, a real estate education program. She's down in San Antonio, Texas, but uh, her claim to fame was she still had a full-time nine to five job. Uh, she actually hates talking to people. So she's super introverted, does not like the cold calling that initial contact. She doesn't like following up with people. Hey, do you want to sell a property? Hey, I, we, you talked a while back, you know, so on and so forth. Like that's like the worst thing in the world for her to do. So what she had done was one weekend said, you know what, I'm just going to build an automated campaign. I've got thousands of leads in my database. I don't want to call them. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to bother people. So she built out an automatic campaign that sent text messages and emails to each person once or twice a month. And it just said, hey, we talked a while back. I think you had a property that you were interested in selling. When the time is right and you'd like to have the conversation, just reply back with the word ready. That's all it said. And it was just a similar message like that all the way through. And that went on for a 12 month period. So anyway, during that 12 months, she consist started doing consistently three to five deals. She actually left her full-time W-2, but she was able to spend her time talking to the people who responded that they're ready, could, you know, the people who were truly motivated and let the automated systems follow up and nurture them. And then when the timing was right, they followed back and, and again, it's, it's transformed her life. Just that one simple strategy that she implemented here. So she sent us a note in our Facebook group here. She systematized her business via workflows. Uh, she went from no follow-up to having a relentless machine that spits out deals when they're hot and ready. And she put ready in caps because I told you she tells everybody just to reply back with the word ready. But in a business she runs by herself with so many moving parts, Aria Black Book workflows really pick up the slack and turns her weaknesses into strengths. All right, this here is the uh, automated notification. So I told you those text messages go out, they respond back with the word ready. So when they respond back, she gets a notification. And I, this is really cool because you can see in an 18 minute period, she had three different leads that were quote unquote cold or, or warm leads that she hadn't talked to in months respond back in 18 minutes saying, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, so she's like, hey, how's these follow-up leads coming in? Muy caliente. Again, she's down in Texas, but who's implemented the 52-week follow-up workflow? So anyway, just a cool story. All right. So again, capturing and qualifying those leads like what Marcy did, are they ready now, ready later, and having a system to put them into a follow-up campaign. All right. So the consistent follow-up, what does that really mean? Just to kind of put a little bit more emphasis on why, like I, I actually used to call this the follow-up pandemic up until two years ago, and then I felt it was not appropriate, but um, this here should open your eyes. I told you earlier, 2% of all of our leads will say yes on the first touch. It jumps all the way up to 3% after the second touch point. When we try three times, it jumps to four, and 10% of our leads will say yes on the fourth touch touch point where we have actually contacted them. All right. So the takeaway is that 81% of all of our deals, all of our sales are occurring five touch points or more down the road. Uh, the real number is closer to 10 is, is about the average, but 81%. So more than four out of every five deals is going to require five touch points or more. So I won't make you put anything in the chat, but ask yourself, do I follow up with every single one of my leads at least five times, right? Uh, most of us don't. As a group investors, we typically, 44% of us give up after one attempt. So if somebody calls us, we try to call them back. That's it. That's all we do. We stop right there. Um, not because we're lazy, 
We probably have other stuff going on. We're trying to close other deals. Following up with somebody who we don't even know if they're qualified yet is typically not a priority, but 44% try one time and stop. Another 22% try two times, 14% give up after the third, 12 after the fourth. What's that mean? 92% of us are giving up an eventual yes. So again, 92% do not follow up five times or more. If you combine the numbers, 8% of, of investors are getting over 81% of the business. And it's because they have follow-up systems in place. Those of you who have been doing this a long time, and if you don't have consistent follow-up in place, um, there's nothing worse than knowing that you had a lead in your, in your funnel that had responded at one point. You do find an old note or you call that person back or you run into them and you find out that they just sold to somebody else three months ago or six months ago, whatever. It's super frustrating, but this is what differentiates the people who systematically and consistently close deals every month. Whether you have REI Blackbook or any other system out there, if there's one takeaway that you can do before you start marketing is have a system in place to follow up with your leads because that is the biggest area where most of us fail. All right. So I mentioned earlier, those of you who texted in, uh, I will give you that free guide to generating uh, motivated sellers, the different marketing strategies and how to implement those. In addition to that, I will also send you the perfect follow-up system. What that is, is, and that's over here. So again, uh, well, after they come in our system, we want to systematically capture them in our database. They're in our CRM. We know where they came from, what campaign they responded to. If they're ready, cool. We're going to analyze the deal, make an offer, move on. But 98% of the time, they're not ready. We're going to have to follow up with them down the road. Um, and that's what the perfect follow-up system is. So what we have created with the perfect follow-up system is kind of a combination of what Marcy did. So I told you she had a 52 week campaign that hit them a couple times a month uh, with text. So what we've done is added text messages, emails, and ringless voicemail. So cross channel communication. When a lead comes in, some people like to text, some people like phone calls, uh, some people like emails. So we wanna do a little bit of all of it. But what we do is when a lead comes in, if they're in that 98% that aren't ready right now, or we don't answer the initial call and we play phone tag for a day, we just dump them right into the perfect follow-up system. And that's going to send them automated text messages, emails, and ringless voicemails for 15 months. And yeah, it sounds like a long time, but a lot of deals happen 12, 13, 14 months down the road. So Brian, he's actually out of Utah, um, but... So he's been investing for a long time, was doing, you know, 10 to 15 deals a month pretty consistently, he has a pretty good sized team. I think they've got about 15 people that works uh, at the company, but it's been a long time, REI Blackbook customer. We had, a, we were actually on a call of not even talking about follow-up systems. And it came up that he had a bunch of leads in his database and that he wanted to build out a campaign. So we had my team build out the perfect follow-up system inside of his account. And in less than 10 days, he had three deals under contract. All three of them did close within that month. Um, but he made over 85 grand just in the first month on three deals that he had sitting in his database because he wasn't following up with them. So it's amazing what can happen if you just follow up with the people in our database. Um, but that's where that is here. So again, if they're ready, we move on, we run numbers, make offers. If they're not, we dump them into our uh, follow-up system, the cold lead converter. All right. This is just a, a quick little screenshot. So when those leads first come in that very first day, uh, whether they call, go to a website, whatever, if we don't answer the phone or we don't get, we're unable to qualify them right now, if, are they part of the 2% or are they part of the 98%? <clears throat> We've got a system that you just, instead of playing phone tag and hoping to remember, you press a button <clears throat> and it goes to our 15 day follow-up. And you'll see there's 15 days on this chart, but the first, the after after they first called in the next day, it's going to send an automatic text message. Day number three, it's a text and an email, then an email, then a text. But you get the point. But over 15 days, we're hitting them very often, high frequency with, hey, let's hop on the call. Uh, I'm interested in, in buying your property and learning more about how I can help. But the whole idea is they called in. So over the next two weeks, we're going to hit them as often as we possibly can. If they don't respond after two weeks, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and then we slow down the campaigns to do two touch points per month. 
for 15 months. So <clears throat> again, a short-term and long-term follow-up campaign with the whole idea of qualifying the leads. And if they're not ready yet, keeping them in our bucket until the timing is better. So again, Brian started putting our leads into the follow-up system and immediately had dead leads reach out to us have been cold for months. We hear this story over and over and over again. So again, uh, I'm actually gonna give everyone all the text scripts, email scripts. We've written the entire campaign uh, for start to finish. So even the ringless voicemail scripts. So if you already have a system in place or if you wanna implement and try to do this manually, but all of the scripts, process maps, the entire follow-up system. If you text in here, uh, send me your email, I will email you the entire playbook that you can implement into your business today. All right. Okay, so Ryan Garris, actually this guy's up in Washington, he's up in Olympia, but uh, he gave a shout out. We were working with him and told him, hey, look, you've got a short-term and long-term follow-up. So he had long-term system in place, but he didn't have any short-term system in place. So after we got him to connect the two, uh, he actually contracted a sub two deal right there. All right, follow-up works, whether or not you have Aria Black Book or not, it doesn't matter please get a system to follow up with your leads. It will transform your business and you will stop wasting marketing dollars, I promise. All right, what do you do with all those sellers who reject your offer, <clears throat> all right? Does anybody here have a 100% close ratio on offers? No, okay, yep, all right. I've never had a yes on that one, but all right. So <clears throat> we've got another story and I'll tell you, uh, and this is basically, we call it the rejected offer recovery system. So just like you want to follow up with the normal leads when they first come in our system, if they're not ready now, how do we follow up with them? But we had, uh, there's a gentleman named Darren Buttram. And what he did was he developed a system because, you know, again, he was making quite a bit of offers. Um, about one out of every five was getting accepted. So he's getting, he had four no's uh, that was happening pretty much every two weeks. So what he did was come up with a system that after he got told no, he pressed a couple buttons and automated it inside of RIA Blackbook to where it would send them an automatic email two weeks later and follow up and say, hey, I'm still interested in this property. If you haven't sold it yet, would you like to talk again? And basically sent them another soft offer with a slight discount on it. Uh, or I'm sorry, a slight increase on it. But anyway, in one year, he closed 37 extra deals on top um, and this was on all on sellers that had already told him no one time to his offer. So again, he presented offers, they said no. And this is a system that he used to, to re-engage and got 37 extra deals closed just in one year uh, from this one little simple system. But here's a process map uh, of what he did. This doesn't really mean a whole lot, but we've got a plug and play system. This is the letter. So again, it it just automatically pulls the data from the CRM, from his database, populates this letter and sends it to him automatically. I can show you what that looks like here in a little bit. But again, it's, it's all about having a system in place throughout your sales process that will continually follow up on new leads, nurture the ones that are already in the database, even the ones that tell you no on offers, follow up, systematize it, and good things happen when you give yourself more at bats. All right. So we've captured our leads, we've qualified them, we followed up with them for maybe even up to 15 months, right? They've come back, we've made offers on it, we've got it under contract, and now we need to get paid. So how can we market our properties and disposition them quicker? All right, this is a pretty easy thing to explain and talk through, but how can we sell properties at higher prices, right? We make more money, all right? And uh, can we also do less, spend less time doing it? How can we systematize and have a standard way that markets all of our properties, especially for wholesalers, right? That's a volume game. How do we get our cash buyers lined up? But if we are sitting there spending a bunch of time trying to sell properties and show them and, and you know, inefficiently getting eyeballs on, on what we're trying to sell, well, that takes our, our focus off of acquisitions. We're no longer talking to the motivated sellers because now we're trying to sell it before we run out of time, uh, before the next payments do all the, all that fun stuff. Right. So, all right. Part of this is how do we manage our buyers effectively? So locating and adding new buyers, especially if you're following up and you're getting more at bats and more deals, well, you're going to have more properties to sell, which if you don't have a system in place, that's going to take time. But, Expand your buyers list. Now, 
we have a, a system where you can segment, they can sign up, find out where they're buying, what type of properties, what type of exit strategies, all those that different criteria that we want to have with our buyers list. So that when we get a property, we know exactly who the buyers that would be most appropriate and we can send it to them first. Um, and you can automate this where say, hey, you're my VIP buyers. I, you've got five hours. You know, next one goes down and you kind of ABC all the way down. And there's a nice way to do that. But <clears throat> again, uh, our system will help you with a couple pushes of a button, post it onto your buyer's website. We give you unlimited single property websites that you can now text blast out to your buyers right away, syndicate it out to even third party sites. But the whole idea is how can we get higher prices, multiple offers, and not spend a whole lot of time doing it. So I, we've basically got a, a system for that and I'll share that with you as well. But <clears throat> all right. So actually, you know what? I'll jump out and kind of uh, give you a little walkthrough of what REI Black Book looks like and what these systems entail. Um, let me see. I'll check and see if there's any, uh, all right, there's no questions. All right. And if anybody does have questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. I will happily answer any questions as we go along here. All right. <clears throat> so, and can you still see my screen well here? All right. I'll take that as yes. a yes. Yeah, right, cool. yeah, we're seeing the REI Black yeah. Book screen. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So uh, I'm going to run through this really quick. If uh, anybody wants to see anything, like I said, if you have any questions, throw those in the chat. I will address them right away. But this is what our dashboard looks like. As you can see, we've got links that will show you any new leads that have recently come in, uh, any task that me or, or people on my team have that needs to get done, deals that are in our pipeline, what stage they're in. Uh, if I wanted to quick run numbers and comps and get an idea on a specific property or you know, so on and so forth. But here are the links uh, right here from the dashboard standpoint. If I wanted, I'll show you what the websites look like. So um, a lot of, especially new investors, but you know, they want a website. If you're talking to a lead, one of the, and you know, put yourself on the other side of the table. If, if, if I were to call you and say, Hey, I want to buy your property. My company, you know, helps homeowners like you all the time, this, and this, and this, you're probably going to hop on Google or try to find out more about who I am, but build trust and before you engage. So websites, a lot of times play a big part in that. So uh, we give you 10 websites <clears throat> as part of our platform. Uh, most of like, what do you need 10 websites for? So I've got a, a cash buyer site. So how do you sign up to be on my buyers list? How do you look at the properties that I have available? Um, I've got sites here to acquire sellers. So if, if a seller is going to come to my website, for example, and I'll show you how easy it is to build a website actually. But <clears throat> say right here, I'm just going to ask you some generic questions. What's your company name? What market do you invest in? Your contact info. And after I do that, I can click here. This will take me straight to my website. My name's up here. My phone number's up here. And this says, sell your St. Louis house today. I didn't create this. I answered the questions. It merges my information in. So the takeaway here is that you can have a basically a full functioning lead capture website up and running in about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't have to have a tech degree, but the best part about this is, and let's go back to number one, right? The, the lead capture and qualification. But if a lead does come to our website and they fill out their name and email and phone number, the property address, this will automatically save them inside of the contact management system it sends me notifications. It automatically texts and emails that lead back, letting them know, hey, we've got your information. Here's, here's what the next steps are going to look like. I'm going to be reaching out to you, this and this and this and this. But the whole idea is to keep their attention and start building trust with that person until we get them on the phone and truly qualify them. But again, all the way through, uh, you know, the, the website is ready to go out of the box. You can fully customize that. So if you are a techie person, I'm not for the record, but if you are a techie person, you can change uh, what it says, links, you can add videos and pictures. I mean, you can build a complete custom website here if you'd like, uh, entirely up to you. But so I will show you real quick what some of those templates are. So if I wanted to create a new website, here are all of the pre-built templates that we have. So I just showed you the acquire seller site. Um, for those of us who are landlords, we actually have a site specific for rentals. 
so they can uh, they can view your uh, available inventory apply right there through your website sign up i mean like so we've got a website strictly to help you manage your rentals again cash buyer site if you're doing lease options so on but um we even have generic websites for for random businesses so if you have a towing company or a plumbing business you can actually build those websites inside of rei blackbook as well one it avoids uh paying multiple subscriptions but you can tag them in a segment your database and say hey this is a plumbing person this is real estate um we can help set all that up for you so again just uh wanted to show you on the websites real quick and easy there um if you've got websites and domains somewhere else you can transfer them into us uh we can move the domains and recreate your websites super simple stuff uh just like websites our landing pages these are like a one page uh website basically so if you're gonna ever do pay-per-click ads or facebook ads like that to find motivated sellers you can create a new landing page and again we've got different types we're going to ask you what is used for so is it for cash buyers is this for absentee owners and all the content the videos all the stuff that's on there is going to speak to that intended target to help your conversion so i just wanted to point that out we give you unlimited landing pages so you don't have to go out there and get click funnels and stuff like that but all right so went through websites and landing pages uh web forms those are just the questions the little questions that we put on a website one of the things that i wanted to point out is if you already have an existing website out there that you love you don't want to change it you can actually put one of our web forms on your existing website and that way if anybody ever fills it out and answers it it will automatically create the contact record inside of RAI Black Book, notify you, and that way it will systematically capture and allow you to help qualify that lead ready now or ready later in disposition, so on. But all right, one of the things that I did want to talk about too is we will let you see how many people viewed that page, how many leads submitted their info. You can put search engine optimization. So if you want it to rank really high on Google without paying per click and stuff like that, you can put all of that stuff into websites and landing pages as well. Um, if, if you have the expertise there, or if you wanted to hire somebody to do it. So, all right, that is a lot of the online stuff. So websites, landing pages, you know, how do you capture and, and build credibility with your leads online? All right. The next way that most of them will come in is through a phone call, right? So again, uh, one of the things that I'd like to, those of you who are like familiar with call rail and stuff like that, we are, our phone system is very similar to call rail, uh, except I think ours is on steroids a little bit. So first of all, all of our numbers, uh, we give you 10 numbers included, but call recording is, is uh, free. There's no extra charge to record all your inbound and outbound calls. That's important for a couple of reasons. Um, one is if we uh, have an answering service or somebody taking phone calls on our behalf, it's really good to spot check and make sure that they're asking the right questions and doing the right thing. The other part is if we've got a follow-up system in place and somebody responds back uh, to a message 12 months later down the road from the last time we spoke, well, I can hop on and listen to the previous phone call and then kind of pick that conversation up where we left off. Maybe their daughter had a their 10th birthday party, you know, whatever, but those little things like that go a really long way with building trust and credibility. And, and again, just putting yourself in a position to, to close more deals by, by being a better uh, salesperson, be being a better investor and business owner. All right. So we give you 10 phone numbers as part of the platform as well. So 10 websites and 10 phone numbers. The reason you need 10 phone numbers and uh, this kind of will go over in that, that motivated seller guide that, that I'm going to send to everybody later. But if you're running a direct mail campaign and a, you have a billboard up there and uh, you know maybe a radio ad, for example, you're going to want to use different phone numbers to track which marketing campaign is working best. If you're going after a probate list versus absentee or tired landlords, you're going to have a different message you're gonna have a different talk track right so somebody going through probate is going to need a little bit more sensitivity versus a landlord who's tired of their tenants that live there or whatever the case is but so different numbers allow you to track marketing 
have different messaging. You can have it go to different people to answer different phone calls, so on and so forth. But we give you 10 numbers. It's really easy to add a number. You can do a 1-800 number or a local one. Uh, what is the area code in Oregon? Okay, in our area, it's 541. 541. But the most popular area code is 503. 503. Okay. I was going to yeah, say, I was like, we're in the 501, 501 area. Yeah. And right. this is a new one. And I don't even know what that one is. Oh, really? All right. So I'm just using 541. So here's all the available yeah. numbers in 541. Um, you can even find those vanity numbers. So if you wanted to have one with like the word move in there, for example, these end in the word move. Or, you know, if you wanted one that had the word cash in there, for example, uh, these numbers have the word cash in it. So you can use those for marketing and vanity numbers and things like that. You would just pick you it. So cool. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, you get 10 phone numbers, but again, it's it's really, really important. Most people think it's crazy, especially if you're you're newer at this, but like I don't want 10 phone numbers. You can still have them all forward to your cell phone. So but the benefit of having them call a number that's attached to a platform like this is one when when somebody calls in it automatically saves that person, even if we don't know their name, it saves them as a contact and like, well, say, hey, these, this person is calling back from my direct mail postcard. Uh, it's my blue postcard that I sent to my absentee owner list that had, you know, 40% or higher equity, you know, whatever the case is, but you can tag down and really track which marketing is working. Um, it, like we, we even have people that, that do nothing but direct mail. They'll put a different postcard on a yellow, or I'm sorry, a different number on a yellow postcard versus a blue versus, you know, and they'll, they'll literally track what is the higher response rate, what, you know, how many more leads came, how many more deals came, and, and they, they really fine tune their, fine -tune their marketing based on that level of detail. And, and the first step is having call tracking phone numbers. All right. So I beat that to a dead horse, but all right, super important. You can build out extensions, uh, like those of you who know what ringless voicemails are. So uh, if I wanted to send a ringless voicemail to you, Grace, I could send it right here. Your phone's not going to ring, but a voicemail is going to pop up and you're like, what is this? I missed a call. How, what is this? And it's, it's basically just a, a voice message uh, that gets delivered to somebody's uh, inbox. But you can record those all right here. Text keywords. So you guys had texted in earlier to request the mark, uh, the motivated seller guide. And I'm also going to give you the perfect follow-up system. That is a text keyword. When Marcy said text back the word ready, right? Uh, that is a text keyword that sends her a notification right away saying, hey, they're ready. And it automatically sends an, a text message back to the lead saying, hey, we're going to be in contact soon. Uh, you know, is there anything new about the property that we need to talk about? Whatever. All right, but so you can do a lot of cool stuff with the phone system. I do want to show you what happens when somebody calls in uh, to one of the numbers. So this is this is cool. It may get complicated if you allow it, but for those of you who've been around for a while and are familiar with this, this is going to be really cool. So um, you can keep our call flows, and we have some out of the box that you can just download and install right away where it's just like, hey, put your cell phone number in. It's going to forward to you. And basically it, it tracks all, you know, it's just going to forward it to your cell phone, but it saves the contact, tags them where they came from and goes from there. Some of us are going to have a more complex system. Maybe we've got uh, team members that work with us. If we've got VAs that are an answering service that takes our phone calls, whatever the case is, but whatever you need to happen when somebody calls in, you can build that out right here. So, you know, if you've got a full-time job, right? And somebody calls in at two o'clock in the afternoon, you probably need to have a system and a process in place for that scenario, right? So maybe it's, they go straight to a voicemail, but it sends them an automatic text message back, um, letting them know that, hey, I'll, I'll tie it up for a little bit. I'll give you a call back shortly, but you know, are you calling because you have a property for sale, whatever, and I'll show you what that looks like. But for example, you can do say, all right, so if somebody calls in to my, my Eugene Oregon number here, I can say, all right, hey, I want this to ring four people at the same time. So if it's me and a partner or if my acquisitions team, I can have this ring four people at the same time. Whoever answers it first takes that lead. And that way I know that that lead is going to get captured and hopefully qualified right there on the first call. 
All right. If maybe we don't need it to ring multiple people, we can just say, okay, well, here, just forward this to my cell phone. And what do we want to happen? So if I forward it to my cell phone, if I answered it, okay, I want a task for myself to set the next steps with the seller, review the call. And so that way, when I get back to the office or tomorrow, I've got this saying, hey, this lead came in, you talk to them. What do you need to do with it now? Are they ready now or later? But if I didn't, if I missed that phone call, right? If I'm at work, I missed a phone call, didn't answer it. Okay, well, it's going to go to voicemail. My system is set up to where after it goes to the voicemail, two minutes later, <clears throat> it's going to send them a text message back. I'm sorry, I missed your call. I'm in a meeting and I'll call you back as soon as possible. Do you have a property you need to sell right away? Right. I'm trying to find out if they're motivated right there. But and then, you know, if they respond back, great. We can keep texting. But um, this will send them, this also creates a task for me to call back the seller as soon as possible. Um, you know, I can sign it to myself, other people on my team, but the, the point is, even if I miss this phone call, it's contacting that person back, texting them, letting them know I'm here. I am, I can send them a link back to my website if I wanted, but the takeaway here is no matter what my, they're saved in my database, they're stayed, uh, They've been uh, responded back to, and I want to put myself in a position to hopefully qualify that call uh, as soon as possible and notify myself. Um, you can, there's other things that you can do as well. So again, I don't want to get too complicated here, but I do nerd out on this stuff because again, I'm a sales and marketing systems guy and these kind of things can go a long way, but we even have what we call smart routing and where's it at? There it is. But for example, if, if I'm running a direct mail campaign and the number I put on my postcard, they call back, I can say, okay, well, my first time callers, I want that to get forwarded to my cell phone, for example. But if it's a repeat caller, I want that getting sent to my lead manager. If they've already called in a couple of times, like I don't need to, so on. If somebody calls in and maybe they're one of my cash buyers, for example, all right, well, that can get sent to my dispositions person, but you can do all kinds of different things where it's like, hey, like the system can identify who's calling if they're already in the database and basically route them accordingly. So that way, if we do have a, an answering service, for example, uh, you know, we don't keep sending the same person to, to talk to, you know, a, a VA in the Philippines or something like that. So anyway, uh, I wanted to kind of go over this again. You can have text messages go back automatically. You can have ringless voicemails get sent back like some people will play games and if a call comes in and they miss it they'll wait five minutes have a ringless voicemail get delivered to the person and then an automatic text a minute later and say hey i just tried to call you back uh, i'll try to give you a call back later today but in the meantime if you have a property to sell can you shoot me the address and i'll run some preliminary numbers you know things like that but you can get pretty creative um this is also a lot of fun to mess with your friends too by the way so you can set up campaigns and um just so you know I have automatic reminders. I'll never miss my wife's birthday, anniversaries, uh, kids' birthdays. I get notifications two weeks out from all of them. Um, text notifications two weeks out, a week out, and uh, make sure that I know to get cards, flowers, and gifts. So anyway, um, so anyway, so again, you can do all kinds of cool stuff right here from an inbound call, but the takeaway, they automatically go into the, to the CRM, to the contact management database, are they ready now or later? And what do we do next? Okay. So, all right. Went through the phone system. Uh, went through websites. I will show you some workflows real quick. So workflows are similar to call flows, but like our automated follow-up campaigns, those are workflows. Um, if somebody fills out a web form on a website, right? They go to our website and put their name and phone number and all that stuff in. What happens next? What automation do we want to happen? We probably want an email back to them, maybe a text message back to them. We probably want a text message to us letting us know, hey, somebody just went to your website and said that they have a property to sell. You jump on this right away. But those are workflows. Um, I'll, actually, I'll just show you. This here is a 15-day follow-up as part of like our perfect follow-up system. So under this scenario, again, a, a lead had come in. We missed the call. We weren't able to qualify them to even find out if they're ready now or ready later. Instead of playing phone tag and hoping that we connect sometime, uh, we tell people, hey, just send them on this 15-day sequence. But 
This will automatically set up and it waits a day. And then it says, hey, Grace, Kevin here from REI Black Book. So we will merge our information into these text messages. So they're super personalized, but I tried calling you about your property. Do you have a few minutes to chat? If Grace doesn't answer and a day later, it's going to automatically text her again. Hey, Grace, Kevin here from REI Black Book. I'm prepared to make you an offer. Do you have time for a quick call? If Grace still doesn't respond a day later, it's going to send them this email. All right. The email's already written. A day later at 10.45 a.m., it's going to say, hey, I want to see if I can catch you before lunch. A quick call about your property. So again, super conversational. We don't want to sound like robots. We don't want to sound like these are automated messages. Like they, We want them to, to think it's a real person there to pick up the phone, build trust. But more importantly, we want to follow up and try to qualify that call. But again, over 15 days, it's text messages, it's emails, it's ringless voicemails. Uh, we even put task in here to pick up the phone and try to call yourself uh, if you can. But no matter what, at the end of 15 days, if we still don't make contact, don't give up on that lead. Like they, like life gets in the way. Like I'm sure we're all not perfect at returning phone calls to, especially people we don't know, but this will automatically start a 15 month campaign. Um, that's again, maybe one text message and one email a month. It slows it down dramatically. We don't want to like harass these people for a year and a half, but, but respectfully follow up with them for 15 months. And the whole idea is when the timing is right, they will respond. And that's when we actually run the numbers and, and start truly analyzing the deal. So, but that, that's what a workflow is. Again, you can set up text and, and automatic text messages to you and team members and emails as, you know, as, as part of different sequences. Um, you know, again, automatic text messages, ringless voicemails, all those different things. But, but um, th this here is what we call the perfect follow-up system. All the all these text scripts, all the email scripts, ringless voicemail scripts. I'm going to give everybody copies to all of that as well, so you, you can literally copy and paste them if you want into your own business. Um, we we we've got like a plug and play system here where you can press a couple of buttons and have all of this ready to go out of the box. But all right, so went through websites, workflows, and call flows. Uh, we've we've got a marketing campaign tracker, so if you're running multiple different marketing campaigns, this will track which ones getting the the most leads and all that fun stuff. But I want to show you what this, the contact database looks like. Again, this is a central source where everything gets maintained. Website leads, phone calls, if they text into you, whatever the case is. But this here is, as I can see right here, all of you have texted in. So you're, you're the new leads that have come in. I've got your numbers here. I know in six months from now, if I'm going through here and I see Oregon Rhea, I know exactly why you're in my database. I can I can look at this. I can click, view in, say, okay, hey, you texted in Aria. You got a text message back. I can click on it. It was processed. Your carrier accepted it. It was processed. It was sent. It was delivered um, all the way through. But I can sit here and drill through and see every point of contact. Um, oh, Grace, this is you. <laughs> um, but here's your email, all that fun stuff. But if I wanted to email you back right now, or if I wanted to put you onto my 15, if I wanted to put you on my 15 day follow up because I played phone tag with you, Grace, I can just press this button right here. And now you're going to get automatic text. And I'm not going to do that to you, <laughs> but you could get automatic text and everything else with saying, Hey, give me a call back. Let's talk about your property. All right. But actually, I want to show you one more thing. I pick on this kid all the time. I like to have fun. And he knows I do this, by the way, just so you know. But his name is Corey. And Corey uh, was on a webinar that I had done years ago. Um, you can see here's incoming calls. I can listen to old voicemails that he left me in 2019. But every text message, every interaction that I've ever had with this person is completely uh, here in the database. So if he follows up a year and a half later and responds to one of my messages, I can log in here and say, yep, here's where we left it last time. This is what we're talking about. But here's the email that I had sent to him as part of my sequence. And this is that marketing playbook. So this is actually the uh, same guide. Actually, we've revised it since then. But this is the old version of what I'm going to send to everybody today. But he went through and I sent this to him. 
At 4.43 p.m., the email was sent and delivered. He opened it four minutes later. He opened it again. At 5.30, he opened it again. Every time he clicks the link inside the email, I, I know that. So you can see it, you know, 11.30 at night, 4.47 a.m. Man, he was an early riser, like really interested in that marketing campaign. Um, but as you can see, every interaction that he even has with an email, we've got that type of visibility in there. So um, just, just uh, again, it's all about maintaining data, picking up where you left off, following up with everybody, but this is your single source. It's not spreadsheets. It's not sticky notes. If you truly want to have consistency, you need to have some sort of a database, even if it's not ours, um, a systematic way to manage your contacts and leads. All right. So uh, one other thing too, and I'll show this, like, for example, um, you know, a lot of us, if we have a property we want to sell, and I mentioned this earlier, but if I wanted to segment my list, for example, by cash buyers, I can segment my list here. Here's all my cash buyers. If I wanted to, you know, start, uh, uh, do a text blast out to all of them. I can pick what number I want to text from. I can merge their first name in. So, you know, Grace or Phil, whoever, check out this property. And I can put a link right here to my landing page or to my website. I can schedule my text message to go out tomorrow morning at, I don't know, 10 a.m. for example, press continue. This will show all the people who's on the list. Do I wanna send my text blast out now or not? It's so on and so forth. But um, really easy way to do a text blast. You can send ringless, ro voice, ringless voicemail blast. You can send an email broadcast, so on. Maybe I've got a list of dead leads, right? Like Brian had. Well, I can trigger a workflow and put all 27 of these people into my 15 month follow-up campaign, for example, and, and start them on an automated campaign. But you can do all kinds of things right here from the uh, contact management system. And the whole, again, the whole idea is no matter how they come in, it saves them, tags them and follows up with them until they're ready. And now we've got a source to, to go through and track all that. All right, so I'll keep moving on here. Uh, let me see, is there any questions here? Let me see, he's wanting to sell right away. All right, cool, no questions, all right. Yep, if you have any, just throw them in there. I will address them, I promise. Okay, all right, one other thing too. Um, so I mentioned earlier, like the changing laws around text messages and cold calling and all that fun stuff. Um, one of the things, and, and I, can, I can teach you for like two hours on the new rules and regulations and how to properly, legally uh, stay in front of your leads, but uh, that'd be a different day. So Grace, if you want me to do that sometime, let me know. But um, basically when you're sending text messages, a lot of the carriers now have to, like you have to, like as marketers, we have to actually register our businesses, our phone numbers and our individual marketing campaigns with our phone providers. They have to approve us and otherwise our messages are going to get blocked. Uh, we're going to run the risk of getting fined, shut down, sued. Uh, I know a handful of investors personally that literally have had spent ten dollars to $20,000 fighting lawsuits or paying fines for sending text messages when they shouldn't. So uh, if you are doing text blasting in a big way and not scrubbing the list and doing it properly, I highly encourage you to get up to speed on that because uh, the consequences are, are getting there and they know who is sending those messages now, the, the technology is in place, but I'll get off my soapbox. So uh, as we're sending text messages out, especially as the new rules and, and systems in place to filter down our messages, when we send these out, I can say, you know, for example, uh, any of my text blasts that, I have, that I've sent out in the past. So here's some of the text blasts that I've done. I can click on them and say, okay, 103 people were on this text blast. Here was the message that I sent to them. Uh, 102 got delivered. One of them didn't. I can drill down and say, okay, well, this person here, it didn't get delivered. Why? And it, it even tell you the destination carrier is saying it's unreachable. Uh, they may not accept my messages, whatever, so on. So I probably need to pick up the phone or email this person instead of sending them text messages, right? So again, uh, if you're doing text blasting, same thing with emails. So if you are sending email broadcasts and things like that, which I normally don't send a whole lot of them out, but I can click on it. 
It'll let me know how many were delivered, how many people clicked the link. Uh, did they unsubscribe? Did they mark you as spam? This and this and this, but you can really drill into uh, any of your outbound marketing channels uh, right here. So, all right, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the property marketing and disposition, just because that is the third area that people typically struggle with and uh, leave money on the table here. So let me check this chat. Is there a message in my phone ever ring? <laughs> uh yep okay don't know about it. yep okay cool all right so as uh we are looking at our deals right so leads come in um they're engaged yep hey i do want an offer on my property so now we need to analyze the property we need to run some numbers and prepare to make our offer right so uh this here is what our property pipeline looks like I can add a new property here. If somebody puts it on my website it or in, enters it on my website, it automatically creates that property record inside of RAI Black Book. We also have a mobile app. So you can add properties right there from the mobile app as well as calling and texting and all that fun stuff. But you can even import a list of properties if you'd like. But uh, we can sort it by what type of, how did it come to us? What status is it? Is it under contract? Is it available? This and this and this, what type of deal? So on and so forth. But we can really segment our list and, and drill down into that. I'll just pick the one on top here. All right. So in this particular property, uh, here is my lead sheet. You can customize this lead sheet if you like and ask whatever questions you want. But here's the seller info, the property info, any details. I need to do some more due diligence with this person. But um, anyway, here's all the questions. So if we have VAs or any like uh, a sheet that we are following ourselves, you can copy that here and, and have the exact lead sheet uh, in your system. This will track what contacts are associated, right? So this guy's the seller, but do we have contractors? Do we already have a buyer? Is there inspectors involved? Do we have a private money person? all those different things, we can basically have all of those contacts attached right here to that property. So that way we know every personality involved with this transaction. We'll help you come up with a repair list. So as you're going through and walking a property to make an offer, this one here, it needs a roof, it looks like. Uh, there's 11,000 total, so there's something else. And looks like windows. So there's windows and a roof that, that this property uh, needed. $11,000 worth of repairs. Here's comps. So we will actually go through, we'll pull the owner's name, we'll give you their mailing address. Here's that public info, uh, tax and last sold and all that fun stuff. Down here, we've got a map. So we'll give you rental comps, we'll give you uh, recently sold comps, all that fun stuff. But here's a list of, of comps. So we can sort by sales price or bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot, whatever the case is. And you'll notice here's our ARV. But as we add and remove comps, that number changes automatically here. So we know what our ARV based on the comps that we select. We've even got a maximum offer calculator. As we punch in the numbers, our repair estimates here, all those different things, and it will kick us out what our maximum allowable offer is on that property uh, you know, to factor in our profits and so on and so forth. But kind of a cool little way to help high level analyze those deals, get some owner info, uh, repair. And this here is actually one of my more favorite parts of what we do. But um, a lot of us are maybe unsure sometimes as to what we're going to do with this property. Hey, should I wholesale this? Is this truly a good buy and hold? Uh, you know, and, and really like, I don't, I don't know what's the right thing to do. So we can help with this by saying, okay, here is what we call the analyzer. Here's how you acquire the property. Purchase price, your ARV based on the comps and stuff that we selected. What are you going to do with it? So this one here is a rental. If I wanted to wholesale or fix and flip, I can run those analysis as well. But how am I going to finance it? All the expenses. So here's my $11,000 of repairs, my taxes, all that terrible Uncle Sam stuff, right? Uh, income. How much income is this going to generate? So if I'm going to rent this out at $1,950, uh, here's my deposits annual growth? Am I going to raise my rents? Exit strategy. So I'm going to hang on to this rental for five years, for example. If I'm going to sell it, am I going to use a realtor, closing costs? But we can throw all that in there and this will actually kick out cash flow reports. So over my five-year holding period, this is what my cash flow report looks like. Um, 
if we're trying to, if we're wholesaling our property and sending this to our buy and hold investors, right? This could be something that could be nice and useful for them to see, hey, this will be a cash flowing property. Um, we've even got executive summary. So if we're going out trying to get private money and things like that, this here paints a really good picture of what the financial aspects of this deal looks like. What's our before and after taxes, um, you know, growth rates and, and net operating income, all those different ratios that private money guys want to look at. Um, this will help you paint that picture for them. And you can market this and put this on your website. And I'll show you that later. All right. But any task uh, upload so you can use this as a filing cabinet and keep your inspections and pictures and all that stuff. Any notes uh, that you have, but this is where it gets fun. So when we want to market this property on the backside, so they've accepted our offer. Now it's time to get paid. So we can come down here and say, all right, I want to market this and get this thing. I want to get eyeballs on this property and get it out of here. I can press a button here and this will now put my property into other REI Black Book member sites. So if they're searching for properties and they're in my area to meet that criteria, my property will now show up on thousands of other REI Black Book members websites. I can press this button and set up a single property website. So I want it featured on my main website, right? And I can show you that here if you want, but I can press this one button and now on my buyer site, that automatically puts this property with the pictures and everything else already on my website. And this here, I can press a button and it says it takes one 24 to 48 hours, but now I can syndicate this out to third-party sites that picks up REI Black Books feed just to get extra eyeballs on the property. All right, here's the basics. You fill out your descriptions. Do you want to add a video tour? Do you want to talk about the schools and property features, you know, for example, so on. But I can go through and after I answer those questions, now I can come over here to the website. And right here, we've, we've got free domains that you can use. <laughs> Look at that, two people's already visited this website in the last like four minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but I can sit here and look at, I've got free domains here that you can use and say, all right, uh, here's my property, here's the links to this website. So now I can just copy it here. And like I, like I showed earlier with the contacts, if I wanted to do a text blast to my buyers list, I can sit here and select my buyers, do a text blast and you know copy and paste that link right there to the website and literally text it to my buyers list on their phone. They can look at it, see pictures, my financial reports, all that stuff right there with the push of a button. But um, this will track how many people visited the website, how many people entered their info saying, hey, I'd like to schedule a showing or make an offer. Um, and again, we like automation around here, but you know, what do you want to happen? We've got pre-built workflows that will you know, schedule a showing. Um, down here on the website, do I want my cash flow report? Do I want that executive summary report on here? If so on, uh, do I want videos on or off? Do I want my comps to be shown? Blah, 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 but you get the point. Um, now I can click here. And here is what our single property website looks like. As you can see, we've got different backgrounds. So, you know, here we can call this mountains and we'll say this template. Cool. All right. So here is this particular property. Um, by the way, the, I just made up some pictures here. This is not that property. People who go to that website, sees this massive estate for 315000 They're probably thinking, I've got to get this one. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> Photos, you can scroll through. Here's all the pictures, so on. A map, um, you know, what's nearby. So if it's in a, a, a urban area, is it walk? Is you know, can they walk to the stores? This, this, and this is a bikeable. Um, you know, any comps that you want to put on here. Again, those financial reports. So if I'm sending this out to my buyers list and they're rehabbers, for example, maybe I want to put some operating expenses and different things like that. But anyway. This is how easy it is to have a single property website. You have unlimited. We don't put a cap on that. Uh, we'll, we also put this on your main buyer's website, but really, really easy way to text blast this out, email blast it out, and I'll show you what that looks like here. So, um, so that, again, you would just copy here, text blast that out. You can create flyers. So if you're going to a RIA club meeting and you want to have flyers and handouts for the property, um, I can press this button. And if I want to email my buyers list, I can do that. So again, right here, it's already written for you. Here's pictures. They can click and link into it. 
it even merges your name and phone number and all your info onto the email itself, but save it. And now you can go and do an email broadcast out to your buyers as well. But with a few clicks of a button, you can literally market this property in a matter of five minutes and have it text blasted to your buyers. So on people requesting showings, et cetera, here, I'm going to go and turn this thing off. <laughs> so people don't think it's really for sale. All right. Cool. <clears throat> All right. But again, that's how easy it is to market the properties on the backside um, all the way through one of the, let me see here. We also have an academy section in here. So a lot of us are like, what is going on here? But we actually have training courses. So remember Darren Buttram. So around that rejection recovery, this is a guy who closed 37 extra deals. So we went through and he taught exactly how he implemented the system, what this, how to, you know, blah, 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 what the letter needs to look like, how to set it up in the system. We even have all of his uh, slide decks, his process maps, his uh, checklist that he uses. So all of the documents. So, you know, as you're looking to uh, get started or maybe implement a new marketing campaign, maybe you're wanting to run TV ads. So we actually did a workshop on how you can run TV ads for, you know, a couple dollars for a 30 second commercial on TV um, and do different things like that. If you're storage facilities and, and all those different things. So you can really dig in and learn about particular strategies, driving for dollars or Airbnb, so on and so forth. But we've got a full library full of workshops uh, that will help you out with that as well. So, all right, I ran through real quick. Uh, let me check where I find the maximum. All right. Yep. So uh, Grace, that is in the property pipeline. So when you're in a property, I'll show you real quick. But oh, uh, you're answering my question. Thank you. I. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've got to answer your like, question, I, right? Like I had no idea that was there. And yeah. I, I have to say I've made $25,000 on a, on um, a fluke that somebody just like, I guess they Googled Oregon house flippers and came up with me. <laughs> And I made $25,000 on that from my website at REI Black Book. And I have not Sweet. even hardly put in the effort that I need to put in that, that you're talking about and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, but I didn't know I could have marketed that property as well through it. I, and yeah. I, I could have probably sold it for way more than $25,000. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> We hear it all the time. So we, we actually, uh, one of the workshops, you do, you do you know David Dodge by chance, no. Grace? No, no, I don't. Um, so he, he's, he does, he's a high volume investor, but um, so he, I think this last year, I think he dispositioned like 315 properties straight from like just using Aria Black Books disposition. But he's, he went through and basically said, hey, this, here's my checklist. Here's how I systematize this. But so, you know, as he's bringing new disposition people in to work for the company, he's got a checklist. This is like step by step, exactly how you do it. And in a matter of, you know, five minutes, he's marketing properties. But he's saying that uh, his app, after he moved over and started using us for dispo that his average assignment fee and like basically days that he was like that they were available yeah. dropped by like 20% on both of those numbers. Um, yeah. which it, it, it adds up. I mean, time is money, as you know, but, uh, your max off calculator, uh, is right here. So if you're in the property, it's under the comp page, but it'll let you know, as you're adding and removing different comps, it, one, it changes the ARV, and then you could just click right here for the calculator to, to put your numbers in there. That's yep. really cool. I don't know where you get your info because my current um, Oregon RIA website gets it from Zillow, but Zillow is not giving those. Um, yeah, anymore. yeah. So we, yeah, we used to pull it from Zillow actually up until about a year ago. And then they yeah. turned that off and said, yeah. nope, we're not doing it. So now we actually have to pay. Uh, it's not cheap, but it's something that we've promised people for years and years and years. So we have to do it. Um, but yeah, now we are actually, so the, the data is actually better, which is cool because now you get the owner's name, their mailing address, as well as the comp information and public data. Um, I forgot the name of the company where you, cause there's only like three or four companies nationally that truly provide that data. Um, and yeah, we, we have to pay like, it's like a nickel or something like for every property as people look up, it's, it's not okay. cheap. So <laughs> it Saskatchewan adds up. And, it Captain, adds up. and those of you who are listening that understand what I'm talking about, getting your MAO 
uh, from the, the Oregon RIA website is no longer available for the ARV and you can now get it through uh, REI yep. Black Book. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I'll, uh, so I ran through that pretty quick. I'll, I'll kind of go through because, um, yeah, I, I, I go through and I could nerd out and go on for hours and hours and hours just on the phone system. So it, you, you have no idea how much self-control I have to have, like, otherwise people's like, dude, shut up. And I'm, I'm sorry. So thank you for bearing with me. But, so um, sure. so again, here's the three strategies. It's lead capture and qualification sounds stupid, simple. I understand, but there's yeah. so many moving parts with that. And if, if we don't have a bulletproof system to, I mean, every single lead gets captured and how we qualify and find out now or later, that simple question, it's, it's critical in your sales process. For the ones that say later, which is most of the time, how do we consistently follow up every single time and automate that so that way we are spending our time with the people who are ready and then again, the, the property marketing and disposition side. So uh, I've looked like this person before, frustrated, looking around. It's like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But, you know, as you're looking at this, like, how many deals have you lost by not following up? You know, have you, have you been one of those unfortunate people that fo did follow up with somebody and then you find out that they've sold to somebody else because you didn't call them for months? It's um, on a daily basis. Yes. It's, <laughs> we hear it all the time, all the time. Um, yeah. Yeah. So don't fall into that trap. But one of the other issues, and I, I bring this up here because, you know, a lot of us say, cool, I want to be able to blast my buyer's list out. I want to get a website that captures my leads and I need a phone system for this. And like the next thing you know, it's like, all right, well, here, I've got an email system. I've got a text platform. I've got my CRM over here. My websites are over there. Here's my phone system. And you've got seven or eight different software platforms they're, they don't communicate. They're not built to use together. It's expensive. So next thing you know, I call it multiple system chaos is, is what we call it at our black book, but um, that can almost create another problem because it's like, all right, stuff breaks. How do you train people? It's, it's just in, inefficient a lot of times. And this is kind of what it looks like, right? So you got all these different things and it's just like, ah, it's crazy. So we put everything in one spot. CRM, the websites, phone system, follow-up campaigns, all the property marketing and dispo. That way, from lead generation all the way through to close transaction and dispo on the backside, it's all on one spot. You don't have to jump from platform to platform. You don't have to work with multiple tech support teams when something goes wrong. Uh, that, that's a nightmare in itself. So these are typical subscriptions that you can replace. So again, websites and the contact management system, all the email auto response, the, the text blasting and call tracking tools, all of that. And, and this is actually cheap. I mean, we talk to people that are spending thousands of bucks, uh, 12, 13, 1400 hours a month on different platforms, not counting the tech nerd that has to tie it all together. And I can say that because I'm surrounded by tech nerds all day here, even though I'm not one. But, um, but anyway, so Again, just be super careful not to go out and, and piecemeal a whole bunch of different things together because Frankensteining these things typically doesn't work. Um, our platform is $197 a month. That is everything that I showed you earlier. 10 phone numbers, 10 websites, the text platform, you know, all of it is uh, 197 a month. There's no monthly, there's no uh, annual contracts and things like that. So it's, it's literally sign up. If you want to keep it cool, if you don't, you can cancel it. We don't hold your feet to the fire or anything like that. But again, so, some, some feedback here is they love the flexibility to build any automation they want, um, platform their marketing and, and the quality of the people behind the business. This guy here, Lars, he's actually really cool, but uh, he's, he's used us or basically anybody wants a one system to manage their business. Everything he needs there, he's used it for several years and still finds things that he can use. And then William, this is actually a new person for us, but he loves the simplicity, but he also loves how intricate and complex it can be if you choose to use all of it, its capabilities. But he likes the step-by-step -step instructions and he loves it, it follows up for him and that is his weakness. But, um, and this here kind of, this last one just kind of talks about what I was ta mentioning earlier about all these different systems plugged in. So one, one somebody who's new said, why do you have to use ARIA Black Book if you have Podio fully set up? And one of our customers responded on our behalf and said, 
It can do almost everything our Aunt Black Book can do, but it costs us more to pay for the monthly subscription just for the external websites that we had to manually integrate. Long story short, it was harder, more expensive, and less effective and more time consuming to have for Podio. So again, the whole idea is to put it in one spot, simplistic. You don't have to jump around and things don't fall through the cracks. But all right. So uh, again, it's one ninety seven a month. That is if you wanted uh, to, to keep it going forward. I do have an option here. So everybody here that wants to try it, uh, you can actually do so for free. There's no cost um, for a full two weeks. If you want to hop in, you can look at building a website, see how easy it is, the phone numbers. And, and you can, you know, if you wanted to test out and, and see how it how it does for you. But uh, to take it one step further, the automated follow-up campaigns. So that perfect follow-up system that I showed you all the text and emails and everything else that I'll still give you all the scripts. So even if you don't sign up and try us out, that's fine. Um, you can still copy and paste those into your business. But for those of you who do want to give this a shot, I will give you our plug and play campaign. So again, you can press a couple buttons and, and install all of those automated follow-up campaigns into your account, as well as the inbound call routing. So that way, <clears throat> if you already have leads in your database and you want to sign up for a free trial, you can import your leads and put them on an automated campaign. And you'll see during that two week period, you're going to have leads calling you that you probably haven't spoken to in months that you might have written off as dead or cold, whatever you want to call it. But uh, so we're going to give you two weeks and you can kind of see this, how the stuff works, uh, you know, before you even have to pay for anything. But again, here's the proven framework to uh, improve the three built follow-up campaigns that I showed you earlier, all the process maps and the workflow. So you know what to do. We normally sell that for a thousand dollars by itself, just for the plug and play systems. Anybody who wants to, to sign up as part of Aria, uh, you'll get that absolutely free. The reject the recovery system. So Darren's exact system and process for automating when he gets told no, how he follows up with them and sends them that letter. Well, we've done that. We've got that system as well that you can in input. I'll, we'll give you that one as well. So if you do have any deals and leads that you have already submitted offers and told no, <clears throat> put them into that and see if you can convert them. So again, we'll give you 14 days free access. You get all of this. <clears throat> it's 197 a month after the 14 days if you decide to stick around. Um, and then the last one too is uh, we did a, a workshop and case study on how to sell your properties, the dispo. Um, this is Rob Hyder. I don't know if you know Rob Grace, but he's he's kind of a big national guy too. But um, he's he's uses us for his disposition as well. And he's got a really dialed in process that we modeled our system around. Um, so he did a little case study and all of his scripts and how he he handles all with his buyers and the you know, so on and so forth. But again, so all of that, um, all the way through one step further, just to make sure that everybody uh, gets a fair shake here is we don't just give you software and say, Hey, go figure it out. Good luck. Hope it works. Um, in addition to giving you all the plug and play systems to like make it easy for you to step into and start getting value right away. Um, we also know that if you're brand new and maybe never even started marketing, versus somebody who is doing deals every month and been doing this for a long time, you're going to have a different set of needs. And like, you know, it's not just going to like, Hey, start up for Aria black book. And you know, everybody just goes down the same exact path. So we will hop on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call and, you know, find out exactly where you're at in your business. Where's the most immediate holes that we can fill. Is it capturing leads and qualifying them or is it following up? Is it disposition? And we will walk you through and help implement that right away one-on-one -on -one, uh, with one of our success coaches. So we'll, we'll literally help you install your campaigns and, and go through that process. Uh, it's not just like, hey, you're on your own, uh, figure it out. So again, everything you get. And, for and, 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 and Kevin, I just want to chime in here. This is the whole reason why I had you here tonight was because of the excellent, the very excellent um, help that I, the help desk and I, yes. on time, whenever I need help with this site and doing stuff is REI Black Book. Excellent, excellent support. And that's why you're here. Because I, I, and I appreciate yeah. you saying that because I, I take that for granted a lot, Grace, just because like that's just part of our culture is oh, customer, customer support is beyond. huge. You guys are way beyond anything I've ever experienced. And, and, and I have yep. 
I have, you know, Google. I don't want Google in my life anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> but REI yeah. Blackbook is awesome. Thank you well, so much. Well, thank you. Yeah, and, and that's one thing too. So, so we do have in-house customer support, which is almost unheard of for technology companies. Oh, you're awesome. Um, yeah, so they, they literally are in my same office here. Um, you can chat with us. You can email us. You can call us. We've got a complete on-demand library if you don't want to talk to people, but you can reach out to us at any time and we are extremely responsive in, in our customer support. I mean, it's everybody says they have good service, but um, like- Oh, you guys are way stand beyond. Behind and yes, and Shay and Dino <laughs> yeah. and Aris and everybody, they're so awesome. Thank everybody you. loves Dino. Like he's like the nicest. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's funny because like you know some people get pretty upset when stuff doesn't go right and technology can be frustrating. It's like I completely get it, but like we'll have the maddest people in the world calling us, and like five minutes later they're sending us emails about how great Dino is and how much they love him. It's like, what are you doing to these people, Dino? Like he's just like, I, yeah, he's he's, he's awesome. just a nerd. He's just a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he's our little hippie nerd so like um he, he just travels like he takes off for one month a year and really? just travels the globe and just uh, goes all over the place like he's he's a free spirit I, I i love that kid but just he's an awesome guy awesome guy but anyway so all of this perfect follow-up all the rejection recovery the 14-day free trial the whole deal um again no matter what i'm still going to send you the motivated seller guide the perfect follow-up sequences and scripts and templates. So even if you don't sign up for this, please implement the follow-up and the lead capture stuff into your business because I promise you, guys, you will transform it. it. I, I, Just learn from it and go for it and, and learn from it because, you know, for those of you who have been listening to Dan, Dan's Marketing Mastermind, um, this is the stuff he's been talking about, but you didn't understand. This is the Marketing Mastermind kind of stuff right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, when you're in real estate, like this is a marketing business um, and you really have to dial it in and like, you've got to be able to track your KPIs, know what lead, what sources are working, where those leads came from. Um, and, and we do ongoing training. We do a workshop every month. We do weekly calls. Um, like we're constantly trying to help you become better investors, better marketers, better business owners. Um, because we're, we're in a software world. We're kind of like Netflix. If we stop putting out good TV shows, oh, you're just going to, you're just going to cancel. Right. And right. that doesn't do us very good. So we, we have a vested interest into making sure that you're successful doing deals and that we're saving you time, money and hassle. And, and that that's what we're here to do. But anyway, uh, you know, I always get asked how long does it take to set up? Uh, it's a trick question, by the way, it can take years and years and years because some people will never stop tinkering and playing with stuff. Other people will have this thing in place in less than a day, but we've got that one-on-one -on -one coach. We've even got options to do it for you. So some people don't want to do it and would say, Hey, I'll, I'd rather pay you guys to build everything out. I want it set up this way. Mm -hmm. And we can do that too. Uh, if you so desire, but you access to awesome. it. You're awesome with all your help and it doesn't take long to set up. It no, doesn't. it really doesn't. Uh, you can schedule your one-on-one -on -one coaching call as early as tomorrow. So we don't put a delay on that or anything like that. We want you to do it early as possible. So that way you can really test drive it and see if it's a good fit for you before you ever have to pay a, pay a dollar to us. Um, so again, there's everything you get. I won't beat it to a dead horse, but if you are interested, again, it, you don't have to pay anything today. Um, reiblackbook.com forward slash O-R-R-E-I-A or Ria. So all right, blackbook.com forward slash O R R E I A. Zero dollars today. Zero today. Zero. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We we just started doing free trials like a couple of months ago. Um and we've never done it before. We actually used to charge a thousand dollars up front for anybody to join. And then we we stopped doing that during the pandemic just because it was like the right thing to do. And now we did this. So and it's actually worked out really, really well. So anyway. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, you're very welcome. Very much. I, I know I, it's late there. Thank you so much for staying up with us and all your energy. Uh, Thank hey, you. my play. I, I, I get going on this. So I, I know I talk fast and uh, you're probably thinking, shut up. And I appreciate you bearing with me here. But if, if there's any questions at all, I am more than happy to answer any. Uh, if you've texted anybody, in. Anybody open up your microphone if you have a question. There's a few of us left. 
here at the hour. Anybody? Joe's the only one that's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All well, cool. right. Okay, hey, well, guys. Well, thank you so much. For those of you who did text it in, I uh, will send that out before I leave the office tonight. So you'll have all the scripts and the link to the motivated seller guide right away. And uh, my emails, that's my direct email. It's just Kevin at RIA Black Book. If you ever have questions, comments, concerns, need help with something, please let me know. And more than happy to hop on a call or uh, help in any way. So these guys are the experts. I'm just the go between here in Oregon. <laughs> they are the experts. Thank you, Kevin. Thank hey, you. You're, my pleasure. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank Good you night. Too. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.